Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video for you guys over this item right here, which is the Coach Rogue Charm in the color Amazon Green. Um, I'm just going to talk about like little details about this item and show you guys like um, what fits in here as well. But I'm also going to show you guys how I convert this little bag charm into a little micro bag. So yeah, if you're interested in today's video, um, please do stay tuned. And just a full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an SA. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing um, to the channel, just because all I do on here is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. So when it comes to like the little details of the Rogue Charm itself, it is super cute and adorable. So as you can see, the Rogue Charm itself looks just like the Rogue bag. So it has the two top handles right here like so. Um, and it does even feature the cute little brass rivets on the front and back of the charm. It does have a little hang tag here, which I actually got off of like the clip itself and moved on to this little ring right here. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, and then on the bottom as well, it does say genuine gloved hand palpable leather that is embossed here on the bottom in the gold foil. On the sides of the bag, you'll notice too that it does feature um, a little bit of color blocking detail. So there is a little bit of red leather on the side and then orange leather that goes throughout the um middle portion of the bag and then on the handles as well and it is really cool that they did make this actually like a um, center zip compartment so as you can see there is a um, zipper that goes through the middle compartment of the bag and then it does also feature little leather tabs too which I think is really cool um, and then I believe on this side here, it also does have a cute little 1941 stamp. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it is fairly lightly embossed, um, but it does have 1941 and like that little cross stamp and then also um, a little cowhide stamp as well, which I think is adorable. And when it comes to like the bag charm, as you can see, it does also feature two open compartments too, just like a regular rogue bag, um, and they are lined in microfiber. And then the center zip compartment is actually pretty spacious for how small this bag charm is. Um, and it is just going to be lined in the fabric, and there are no um, interior pockets. It comes like converting this little bag charm into a little micro bag. Um, you just need a couple of items. Um, the main one being a bag strap. So I just got this cute little bag chain from like another bag in my collection. Um, I really just like how fine this bag chain is. It isn't like super thick, so I feel like it's like proportional to the bag. Um, but if you don't have a bag chain like this, you can definitely get one off of Amazon. And then the optional item are these um, little D rings right here. And I just got these from a leather store near me, but you can also to find these on Amazon as well. When it comes to like the little rogue charm, um, this is what it originally looks like with the little um, brass clip. And what I did um, to like remove this clip right here was that I just expanded this little ring right here. Um, so it was like big enough that I was able to slide it off of this little ring right here like so. Um, so I was able just to take that off pretty easily and then I move the hang tag that was like attached onto this part um, off of the um, clip itself and attached it onto this little d-ring here so the bag had a little hang tag um, and if you want a like proper tutorial on how I did that um, I did post a little reels on my Instagram as well so you can see that on how I removed um, the little ring Here's what the bag charm looks like when you attach on like the D-rings and the crossbody strap as well. So I just put it through like the leather belting detail because there is like a little bit of a space there. So I was easily able to slip the D-ring through. And when you carry a crossbody or over the shoulder, um, the rings just slide up and it balances the bag really easily when you carry it over the shoulder or crossbody. Um, but like I said, these are definitely optional and you don't need them. Um, so if you didn't want to use like these D-rings, you can easily just attach them onto like the handles of the little charm itself and carry it that way as well and this is what it would look like um so it does help keep the handles standing up as well so yeah super cute so now I'm going to show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the rope charm when I'm like using it as a micro bag so I have my little face mask I have a chapstick and my keys 
um, and my little wallet as well. Obviously, it's not going to fit my wallet, but it will fit a couple of cards and cash. Okay, so here's everything inside of the little rogue charm. So on one side, they have my face mask, and then on the other side, I just have an area um, for cash. And then when it comes to like the center compartment, I just have my cards on one side, my chapstick at the bottom, and then my keys on top. And I am also able to easily zip this up as well. And as you can see, there are no like really like distortions or um, warping of the charm itself. I feel like it does fit a lot of items. And then if you wanted to, um, you can easily just like have your mask in your pocket or something. And this is what it would look like um, without the mask. So definitely a lot more space. And then you can fit something small on the side as well. Then I also did want to just do a quick size comparison between um, like the Rogue Charm and the Rogue 17. So here are the two bags next to each other. And as you can see, um, the Rogue 17 is significantly larger than the little Rogue Charm. Um, and I would say you can easily fit the Rogue Charm inside of the Rogue 17. Um, but yeah, here is a quick side by side of the two um, bags next to each other. When it comes to like my final thoughts on the little rogue charm is that this little item is just so cute and adorable. Um, I would say the number one thing that I love about the rogue charm the most is just that it's the idea of the item itself. I think it's so cute that um, Coach made a shrunken down version of a small like rogue bag um, into a little charm. So I just think that is so cute and adorable. And I just love it too that they really focus to the like um, details of the little charm. So like it has the rogue handles, the three compartments, and even down to like the really cute little 1941 stamp as well. I think that's just so cool um, that they made like a mini tiny version of like the rogue. And then the other thing too that I really love about this little item is that you can definitely use it as a micro bag. Um, I've used it for almost a week as a cute little micro bag and I get so many compliments just because people are so surprised at how cute and little this is. And they're also surprised at how much this holds as well. Um, so like you saw, like I was able to hold up to like five cards, a chapstick, and my keys. And people are always like so surprised by that just because um, they just wouldn't expect something this small to hold so much. Um, and I think that's also what makes it really fun to use as well. Um, when I use this little like rogue charm as like a micro bag, I don't really have to think too much about it. Like I just kind of throw it on and go. Um, and I don't know, it just doesn't feel like that much effort to really integrate into my style or my wardrobe just because it is so cute and little. So yeah. There's that. Okay, so those are for today's video over the cute little rogue charm. Um, if you guys have any questions about this item, please leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out, help you out that way. Um, but if you guys also did like this video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, so yeah, other than that guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!